Solar Classroom and Internet Basics web se video series. Today we will see about program 13. I just to create a Google Slides for a topic and share the same with your friends. So the topic is about regarding Google Slides, creation of Google Slides. We will say to demo. Just go on to your Google account and from the Google apps click Google Slides this is the page that has been opened as you see like forms that will be a blank presentation also and that will a uh, gallery of uh, templates also available you can choose from the particular slide you need now I'm choosing a blank presentation so that I can able to customize to myself. I'm clicking place blank so that the new Google slide gets open. As you see here, this is the untitled presentation as the name of the slide. So I'm going to rename this slide with the topic that I'm going to design. I'm going to design the slide based on computers. So I'm giving the name as computers. As you end PowerPoint presentation, you can see there are various menus like file, edit, view, insert, format, slide, arrange, tools, add-ons like these various options are available in Google Slides also similar to PowerPoint presentation. And in the presentation, in the right side, you can able to see the types of uh, background. You can able to change the theme also. Anything you need, you can uh, choose the particular theme you need. If you don't mind, you know, need to change the theme, you can click to simply the simple light. So this is the default uh, theme. So I'm going to design the slide on the topic computer. So I'm giving the title as computers. And on the computers, my subtopic is about generation of computers. So I'm giving the generations of computers. And to go to the next slide, I'm click on this uh, left window. I can right click and choose new slide, or I can press this sh uh, shortcut Control M. I'm clicking this new slide option so that the new slide gets open. And here I can add the title. So my title is regarding the generation of computers. I can just copy this, select the particular text, copy, and come to the second slide, and I'm pasting. And here, the generation of computers, the first generation is regarding vacuum tubes. So I'm giving the title as vacuum tube. And I can able to insert the image so that I can choose option insert, choose image. And I either I can upload that is the image that has been stored from my computer. I can search on the web. I'm choosing the second option, search the web. Here I can type this uh, text as vacuum tube. So that the image of the vacuum tube gets inserted. I can click this insert button so that the two image gets inserted into my slides. So I can able to minimize. And I'm going to the next slide. Again, I'm clicking the new slide. Here, I'm copying the text, same text as my heading. Coming here, pasting. And for the second generation, the transistors have been used. So I'm giving the text as here, transistors. You can edit a normal PowerPoint presentation itself. There is no difference in dealing that. So again, I have to insert a picture. So I'm choosing insert option. Search the web. Here I'm giving as, sorry, one second. Insert image, search the web. Here, transistors. I can use the image that I need. I can click insert. I can adjust and resize to my name. Likewise, I can 
add the generation. I see integrated circuit and in next slide I am adding as fourth generation. Microprocessor. And fifth generation. Artificial intelligence. Now I can able to again uh, copy the heading from edit copy. Here I can go and paste, edit space. So that uh, I can copy the same text. So all the slides here also I'm giving edit paste. So here to insert the image, again I have to go to uh, insert, search the web and I can give IC chip. So that any diagrams, this particular image gets inserted to the slide. I can resize like this and move anywhere I need. And in fourth generation, I can insert a microprocessor image also. Microprocessor. I can insert and I'm moving to the first generation and I'm inserting the image AI. Artificial intelligence. And one more thing I can also able to include the generation of years. So here I can uh, use the year as 1940 to 1956. So that my slide looks like worth meaningful more than just inserting the image. 1956 to 1963. And then I see 1950. Sixty-four to nineteen seventy-one, and a microprocessor. Here is from nineteen seventy-two to two thousand ten, and then artificial intelligence. I can say from two thousand ten onwards. So now I have generated, sorry, I have created and designed a slide somewhat regarding to generation of computer. And if I need this text to be edited, I can go for uh, the font change, changing the font, increasing and decreasing the slide. I can do bold, italics, underline formatting, and also I can able to change the color also. I'm choosing the blue color. And <clears throat> after applying this same color to apply in all the slides, here also I can able to choose the particular like this I can able to change as similar to a PowerPoint presentation. So after changing to all the colors That one mistake what I have done is I can uh, first design and I can copy. That is better regarding copying each and every slide. I'm doing here and I'm giving the color. So after I'm designing, 
I can able to see there are two options on the right side. This is a question that is being asked in a 13th question that is to share with the Google slide that I have created with my friends. Uh, so here I can click this present window so that the slides that I have been designed can be presented. As you see here, there's a right arrow. If I click, it will move to the next slide. It will advance to the next slide. This is second slide, third, fourth. So, and after completing, I can press this exit button. And when I click this share button, I can add my uh, friend the name to that uh, particular uh, person so that the slides can be shared with them. So I can include their mail and I can choose this editor option and I can click the send button so that this particular slide shall be shared with my friend so that this message has been added, person added. So this is a way of creating a Google slide and sharing it with a friend. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned.